It's like, it's, it's, yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, so. Uh oh. So apparently there's something going on. There are some friendly neighborhood cops who are going to be swinging by and checking everything out for us. And hopefully everything will be good. So this is a uh, text message I think they got saying that something suspicious is happening here. They're going to come and check and make sure everything's okay. So it's basically a swatting again. Basically, yeah. So, but we got our uh, we got our security guy here. He's going to meet them. Cool. But, yeah. So we we've uh, it's a good thing we have guns. <laughs> Speaking of guns. <laughs> yeah, I have a I have a katana behind me. And it's a good thing we have security, and a good yeah. thing that we have a relationship with the local police. That's right. Little so, I, so this is number nine. I think we so. Have the, we have the bomb squad show. Where's my punch card? Oh my I know we're yogurt. we're really close to that free yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really close to a free yogurt. Anyway, sorry for uh, ditching. I had to step out. No, oh, no, no. I mean, it happens. I assume it's serious if it's if it's going to be happening. So, but but what are they coming in or what? Um, I think they're just going to sweep. They're going to check, make out, make sure everything's good. I'm sure everything's cool. fine. There's been no, nothing suspicious actually going. We know on what here, the so. message was that was sent or something. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah, I I can't say too much about what we've done for security. After, oh, we're secure. But I would think I would say we're actually well above secure at this point. I'm not super oh, yeah. worried about this stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just. It can be disruptive, I guess. So yeah, there you well, go, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I just yeah. had, ha 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 ha. We got swatted again. <laughs> well, it, uh, it, actually, I I I kind of feel like this sounds a little bit more than a than a, a swatting. You know what I mean? Now, to my account, this is probably the ninth time that it is happening. It's happening so often that I stop making videos about it. It's a regular occurrence to the point where I think Tim Pool might actually hold the world Guinness Book records for the highest number of swattings. Unironically, I, I genuinely think that this is the case. And I find it interesting that it's not happening to other people. Like, it's not happening to Joe Rogan, it's not happening to Jimmy Dore, it's not happening to the Young Turks, right? It's, it's only happening to him. And I really tried figuring out why this is. And from what I can gather, maybe it's the state he is in, like the state laws where he is in um, makes it more easy for people to do this to him. What is the guess? that he is having, because he wanted to have real-life guests, and I can understand why that is. But you do have to show the people where you happen to work. So when that happens, they know your address. It's a lot easier for them to troll him like uh, they're doing compared to, you know, if he was Jimmy Dore. So that's one of the things. Now, I made videos in the past suggesting what he should do in order to avoid this happening to him. Um, I suggested that he stops talking about it, but obviously that doesn't work if they're doing it live on air. Um, and the second thing was to victimize himself, like go to right-wing channels, go to Fox News, go to these other publications and talk about what's happening to you. This is a preeminent and very efficient leftist tactic. And by doing this, you're showing to the people that are trolling you that every time they do it, you get more famous. Because you would get subscribers if you go on Fox News and you say, oh, I just want to speak the truth and look what's happening to me, right? So that, that would be something that he could do. But um, in the current circumstance, I think uh, one solution would be to just put cameras everywhere and allow a direct feed to the police so they don't have to come into your house. They can just check the feed like Big Brother style and see what you're doing. I'm kidding, obviously. But, but maybe, you know what? Maybe I'm not... Maybe he should take his podcast to the chicken city and just film it there, like outside the premise. And when the cops go in, they just have security, escort them in the mansion, and they look at the premise, and then they leave, and they don't bother you while you're doing the show. You know, unironically, that might actually be a solution. Like, I don't know how disruptive this is to Temple, like how upset he is that this is happening, but I, I guess he's pretty upset, right? And if you're really that upset and you want to fix it, just have like a truck or something that's off the premise when you're talking about the sensitive subject. And then when the cops are coming, like they would just go see the mansion or whatever and then gut out, right? Because like they wouldn't bother you. You'd have security escort them in and out of the premise. Um, but that's the interesting thing, you know, like when you're talking about the interesting topic. Temple isn't the one breaking the news. Like, every single topic which he talks about has already been covered by the mainstream media. He's not like Project Veritas, where there are things unearthed or uncovered. Like, everything he talks about, you can find it in the mainstream media, and I, I don't understand why this is happening to him. 
Uh, except that maybe there are internet trolls or people that really dislike him and are just being vindictive towards him in particular. Because again, like this is not happening to other people. Uh, and of course, you know, there's finally the ultimate solution is to go to a country where you don't have to deal with this shit. Like, if he was in Canada, I'm not saying that Canada is a nice place to be. But if he was in a place like Canada or, you know, Eastern Europe or whatever, then he wouldn't have to deal with any of this nonsense. Um, but again, like, it, the question is, like, how disruptive is it for him? Like, is it... Because obviously it's upsetting, right? Like, I'm, I'm not saying it isn't, but, like... Is it upsetting enough that you would go with the nuclear option and just decide to fuck it and, you know, like, want to fix this permanently and then you can just move to another place and that's it? Or you can just build a studio off the premise or, or something like that so that the cops don't bother you when you're streaming. They just go in the manor, go out. It's disappointing that there isn't a conversation about this because uh, if I was an American, I would be very concerned about this crap. I mean, it's so easy for people not to get caught. And, and now that I'm thinking about it, most people who did get caught for this is because they bragged about it. It's usually based around Call of Duty. I like you have like a Call of Duty player swatting another, and then they go and they brag about it on Discord, and that's how the police catch it. Um, but like right now, it seems that there is no accountability. There's nothing being done. It's funny that the mainstream media used to have like this entire uh, fury of articles about uh, white collar crime, you know, like the uh, white people calling the cops on black people, and there was everywhere in the pa in the press about it. But for some reason, this is not in the press, even though it's like, the ninth time that happens and to a minority person, right? Like I think he's half Asian. No one cares, right? Uh, interesting, the power of the media to selectively choose what to get outraged about. Because I guarantee to you, like, if, if four major publications would get outraged about this shit, all of a sudden you'd have, like, a massive conversation and people would care. But, like, people don't care unless the media tells them to care, and I find this fascinating. Because this highlights the culture of fakeness. Like, the media goes on and they say, oh, well, minorities are being unfairly targeted by the police. And the people who are outraged about that, it's almost like they don't care about the actual issue, they just care because the media tells them to. Because here you have a minority, which is, again, my account's Guinness World Book of Records of the number of times he was targeted by the cops. And no one is outraged. So are they not outraged because A, they don't care about this issue, or B, they don't know about this issue? But anyway, right, um, let me know what you guys think. I gotta shill my stuff every now and then, because if I don't shill it, who else is going to? So if you do like my videos, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you really like it, do consider giving a super thanks. Or if, if you're genuinely interested in some really high quality buyer's remorse, do subscribe to my Subscribestar. And I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.